Tonight, Contact 7 is exposing a connection between two dealerships accused of passing off problem cars as quality rides. Good evening and thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Andrew Heath. And I'm Shannon Ogden. We've been working on this story for months, spurred on by more than 100 complaints from customers who say they got a raw deal. And Contact 7's Jason Grenauer is joining us and there is a new twist in all of this tonight. Yes, there's another dealership now involved. Now, this all started with one single news tip. That led us to an investigation of the Sharpest Rides car dealership and claims that they sold people mechanically broken cars. You reached out to us with even more complaints, including against a different dealer with a major connection to the sharpest rides, a different dealer accused of doing the same types of things. Amanda Frausto Ruiz needed a bigger vehicle to get her four kids to school. A 2015 Dodge Journey. But just after she bought it from family trucks and vans on South Broadway in Denver. My check engine light came on. And that was, I believe, two weeks later. That was only the beginning of her problems. At first it started leaking, which you can see all this oil is from this one. Back and forth to the shop, eventually her husband found metal shavings in her oil. Dodge actually told us that the car, if it's having that many problems, the motor might not make it because it's already knocking. She bought it used as is. What do you think they sold you? <sighs> A lemon. And she's not alone. I spoke to one customer who claimed her car was sold to her full of recalls, like an airbag and seatbelt issues. Another says they bought a truck, it was repossessed, and the dealer tried to sell it back to them. Family Trucks and Vans has also been investigated at least three times in the last two years by the state of Colorado for misrepresentation. And then there's the Better Business Bureau, where they have been given a pattern of complaint on their business profile, saying the dealership failed to repair damages that were identified prior to sale. We wouldn't be in business this long at the same location if we weren't doing things right. We sat down with General Manager Nache Sedios and asked about those complaints. The volume of cars that we've sold for 43 years, I'd say it's just a few. It's minor. All cars here are used and sold as is. It's a used car and therefore you shouldn't be accountable for if they break a few days or weeks after they're driven off the lot? No, we shouldn't be accountable. Those complaints and those answers in many ways mirror those of our Contact 7 investigation of the Sharpest Rides dealership. It's got moving parts and oil and things happen. The Sharpest Rides is owned by Kevin Sharp. Family Trucks and Vans is owned by his father, John Sharp. There's not any other connection really than that. Except there is. Vehicles from both Family Trucks and Vans and the Sharpest Rides are repaired at a third separate facility, the Sharpest Automotive. So you share a repair shop? Well, we do in a sense. That's the same shop where Ruben Castillo worked. We spoke to him in late November. You're saying that you were instructed to take broken or mechanically deficient vehicles and send them back to be sold? Correct. And this happened multiple times over my two and a half years that I've been there. That means that those vehicles could have come back to this dealer. Is that right? Possibly. Have you or do you sell vehicles with knowledge that they have issues to people without either disclosing them or just simply to sell them? Never. The GM maintained the dealership has done nothing wrong, says they donate to charity and help people with bad credit. That noise isn't normal. Mm -mm. That doesn't help Amanda with a barely operable car. I'm going to be paying for a car that's not going to be working. Now, Family Trucks and Vans says they are transparent. Well, so are we. We've put our entire interview with the general manager. It's up right now on the DenverChannel.com. We also have links to all of our stories right there on the Sharpest Rides. And of course, if you have a problem with them or any dealership, reach out to us at Contact 7. Oh, that is a tough one. Thank yeah. you, Jason. Jason, thank you very much.